Welcome everyone. I'm Carlos, illustrator and digital artist. I usually paint landscapes with Rebel. I like the traditional painting look and feel it gives to any artwork. I wanted to reply this experience in Procreate. I created so many artworks with Procreate years ago. But in the last three years, I used only Rebel. During that time, I learned so much about traditional media. I wanted to translate that in Procreate. I will do it as simple as possible, using only the default brushes. I will explain you how I created this mountain scenery. This is my setup. I have the reference on my desktop computer, so I don't waste space on the iPad screen. I will jump very soon to the painting. But before that, there's some things we must do in order to achieve the watercolor effect. First of all, I put a background texture of a custom watercolor paper. I name it paper. Then, I duplicate the layer and will use it with layer blending mode overlay. This is important because it adds a little of the background texture over all painting. I name it overlay. Before I change the mode to overlay, I tweak a little the value with the curve filter. The maximum and minimum values must be between 40 and 70%. Otherwise, the overlay effect will be too strong, making the colors look too much vibrant. I create a layer between the paper and overlay layers. I did some brush strokes here. I make some adjustments to the overlay layer. The purpose is that it shows only a little of texture without changing so much the colors. When it looks good, I change to overlay. I block the paper and overlay layers. With these layers, you can use almost any brush, they will look like watercolor. But some are better than others. I did a search in all default brushes. I selected the ones that have some texture. On the left of this video there's the list of all brushes I used during the painting process. Now I'm ready to start painting. For the sky, I use the wash brush. This is very good to emulate the wet on wet watercolor technique and create smooth gradations. This brush uses multiply as blending mode. I prefer to apply blending modes by using layers, so I changed it to normal mode in brush settings. The sky is pretty easy to paint, just create a smooth gradient. I will divide this artwork in three main zones, the sky, the mountains, and foreground area. I start painting the mountains area. I select a hard edge brush. Any will serve, this time I choose the Salamanca brush. This brush is not 100% opaque. So it builds up the color with each brush strokes. It leaves some visible brush strokes. This is okay. I will blend them if necessary. Meantime, I use the visible strokes differences to build some volume and define some areas. I create a new layer. I will use it to paint the foreground area. I will use complementary colors. In this case, the obvious complementary color is orange. I paint this area very roughly. I duplicate the layer and merge both layers. This is to give more opacity to the layer. At this point I started changing brushes, trying to find which one is better to paint any feature, in this case, the rocks. 
maybe with brush customization I will have better suited brushes, with more edge control. But for this artwork, I wanted to use only the default ones. I create a new layer over the foreground. With white color, I paint some rocks, here and there. I create a new layer. I clip it to the last layer I created. This way I will not paint outside the boundaries of the rocks. I change the layer to multiply. I will use it to add some shadows and volume. I could start painting dark, then adding lighter tones. But I decided to do it from light to dark, just like in real watercolor. You can see how it builds up. Each brush stroke adds some darkness. Everything multiplies not only to the white rocks layer, but also over the entire artwork. This creates beautiful color blending without really blending anything. I add some orange. It turns the color to a nice cold brown. I leave some areas more brown than others. You need to add color variety, this adds interest. Now I create a new layer. This time I will use it in overlay mode. I will use that layer to add some light, creating more volume. I use light colors. I create a new clipping layer, this time in normal mode. It will be used only to paint the colors I wish. In this case, I wanted to add some gray tones. When I'm satisfied, I merge all the rock layers. I create a new layer, in multiply mode. This will serve to add more shadows. I start painting with light blue colors, you can pick it directly from the artwork. Then. I start adding more darker and grayish colors. And this is my general workflow to create a watercolor effect. By using different layers and different modes, and brushes not entirely opaque, we mix the colors nicely. I don't even use the smudge tool or any brushes that blends at the same time you paint. Some brush strokes are visible, but not so many. If you don't want too much visible brush strokes, you can use the smudge tool. But I will do this later one. When I'm satisfied, I always merge the layers. You can keep many layers separated if you wish, and group them to have better control. I don't like to have so many layers. When I want to use smudge tool or paint something, I will have trouble selecting the layers. I keep only few layers for main painting areas. From now on, I will keep using this workflow. Sometimes I change the colors using any of the filters. If I want to add some contrast, color and vibrancy, I use the overlay mode. If I want to add more shadows, I use the multiply mode. If I want to add more light areas, I use the screen mode. The last mode is normal. I use it to add details.
I consider the main painting is done. I start smudging the foreground area. I tweak the colors. Sometimes I desaturate them. The overlay mode adds so much vibrancy, you need to lower this by desaturate the colors. I tweak to mountains and sky colors. I add some gradient to the sky by adding light in the bottom. Don't make the gradient too strong, it will not look realistic. I add more features to the mountains. I use complementary colors, it adds a nice contrast. I also delete some of the mountain edges with the eraser tool. This adds a more realistic mountain edge. I add some fog to the bottom area of the mountains. It adds more contrast between the mountains and the foreground. At the same time, it enhances the feel of distance between zones. And this is it for the main process of painting landscapes with watercolor in Procreate. From now on, I will use the time-lapse video instead of real-time footage. All steps are always the same, it will be too repetitive, and it don't adds anything to the watercolor process. I added some grass and more rocks to the foreground. For the grass, I used the thylacine brush. I also added some details with splatters, using red and white colors. When needed, I tweak the colors, avoiding to look too saturated. I also use the smudge tool when necessary. This is the final artwork. It looks much like watercolor. I may need to tweak better the edges of the rocks, but it looks good to me. This is how it looks without the overlay layer that adds the watercolor paper effect. It don't looks like watercolor. This is why I use the overlay layer. Anyway, it still looks very painterly. Surely if I would use custom brushes it will look even better. Maybe using some of the many watercolor brush packs on sale, or maybe if I create my own. Who knows? If if see enough interest, I may develop it by creating new brushes. Let me know in the comments if you like this tutorial and to see more content like this. If this is the case, please subscribe too. Otherwise, I will not know if it's worth creating this kind of tutorials. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Be happy and see you in the next video.